Hello everyone. Welcome to Logical Solutions. In this video, you are going to learn how to perform static analysis of an assembly with no penetration contacts between the parts. When we analyze an assembly, we must understand how the components interact with each other so that our mathematical model correctly computes the stress and deformation values. In here, we will analyze a simple two ring assembly in which the outer faces of the ring exert contact pressure on each other when tensile loading is applied. Let's create a static study and name it as pressure loading. Now apply material properties to the parts. Right click on the parts folder, select apply material to all and select AISI1020 from the SOLIDWORKS material library. Whenever we create a study of an assembly, a new folder named Connections is added to the simulation study tree. Default component contact settings is bonded contact between all touching faces for top level assembly. We use this folder to define how the assembly con components interact with each other. In order to allow the relative movement between two rings, select no penetration contact and click OK. Now apply fixed restraints to our model. Right click on fixture, select fixture geometry and select this face and click OK. Let's constrain the U bracket to move in the direction of the load. Right click on the fixture, select advanced fixture, click on use reference geometry, select the three centimeter faces for applying boundary condition. Select plane 2 to specify the direction of restraints. Activate the displacement components along plane direction 2 and normal to the plane. Select the value to 0 and click OK. Now we are going to apply loads. Right click on the external loads, select pressure, select this face, change the units into MPA and enter 2 MPA in the reverse direction. A fine mesh is necessary to predict accurate contact stresses. Let's apply mesh controls. Right click on the mesh, select apply mesh control, select this cylindrical face, enter 2 mm as element size and click OK. Now mesh the model with curvature based mesh by using the default settings. Now right click on pressure loading, select properties under the options tab, click the improve accuracy of no penetration contact surfaces and run this study. Here we can see the maximum stresses in the model is 326 MPa. If these were truly in service loading conditions, the design needs to be re-evaluated and new material and design should be selected. Now click on displacement. The maximum displacement in the model is 0.2 mm. Let's define a contact pressure between the faces of U bracket and ring. Right click on the results, select stresses, select the contact pressure and click OK. Let's hide all the loading and fixture representations. Here the vectors are showing very small, so increase the size of the vectors for better viewing. Right click on the stress plot to select vector plot options and enter 400 as size. So friends this is all about the static analysis of an assembly with no penetration contacts. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for our channel for more updates in SOLIDWORKS simulation. For further queries please contact.